Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial I am going to show you the alternative uh, item styles of your list view. So first of all add a list view item in the list view. So uh, as usual uh, similar uh, in previous days uh, I use the stack panel to add the list view control. Okay, so first of all add a stack panel and then uh, add a list view and then add list view item in the list view. Okay, so list view with the name list view one. Selection change event also occur when any uh, item is selected, then display in the message box also. Also load the uh, grid view. Okay, so use the loaded event of the grid view for the alternative item styles when the grid view items loaded. Okay, now after that you can use the list view item to add some data in the list view okay that's fine now after uh, this you can uh, use the list view lo uh, loaded event of the list view I mean to say that uh, in this method I'm going to show you the alternative item styles I want to change the alternative row uh, with the different background and the different foreground colors so first of all get the list view by using sender uh, the, so here we have sender as a list view so, and uh, item collection total, uh, so total number of counts uh, using item collection item equals to l1 dot items so here we have item in the item get the uh, total number of item in the list view actually so first of all define a point uh, initial pointer or you can say the initial uh, counter that is total number and the list view item item in what that is item oops it's a combi uh, ambiguity between the names so item collection you can use it here and the total number of item in the item collection okay so one by one Mm, we can trust that uh, one by one row uh, we can change uh, the colors so it's a uh, difficult so get the uh, get the even and odd numbers so total number uh, is modulus of 2 is double equals to 0 that means item dot background equals to new solid uh, color uh, brush colors is a class okay colors dot green similarly you can change the foreground color as usual new solid brush and uh, colors dot orange okay that for the even number and use for the odd number change the color and after that you can increase the total number okay solid brush colors dot blue and the four color is a white so guys thank you very much for watching this video please keep watching my all other videos of uwp and don't forget uh, about subscription please subscribe my channel uh, if you want to more uh, if you want to any help from my size then I help you to create a project in UWP and uh, also I help you about a WPF Windows form uh, MVC ESP.NET Core web form and any other language you want so you can ask me anything about uh, uwp wpf uh, esp.net core etc if you want to get the selected item on the list view you can use the selection change event hit here so first of all get the uh, um, list view by using uh, sender because sender has a list view similarly previous according to previous code 
string item equals to l1 dot selected item dot to string okay and in the masses uh, dialog m1 equals to new masses dialog in which you can add the selected and the selected item here we have a item in the item oops getting error because uh, here we have a list view items it's not a dynamically added or you can say that it's not a data source actually in the list view because it's a list view item have in the list view so it's not a right way it's error yeah so getting the item collection it here also in the above after just uh, center as list view after that okay we can use it here list view item okay item it's ambiguity between the item and an item so let's change something list view item and l1 oops l1 dot selected item that's fine item 1 okay fine item dot content that the type of the string okay run it again oops oh uh, in the message dialog will not change the um, result value the result value uh, in the item one actually you can check it the item dot content is assigned into the item one so the last value uh, is exist in the item one not in the item so you can change it here item one okay so you can run it again so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos thank you very much